So here is my little computer. Now it's supposed to be a seven inch. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Yes, it's supposed to be a seven inch touch screen. As you can see, it's full color. It's actually 1280 by 800 resolution. I'm just having a little bit of a problem with the drivers. It is currently running. You can see the uh, CPUs, two CPUs. Memory has uh, 875 meg and it's only currently using 73. It's running a what they call a light version of Ubuntu or Lino, I think it's called. Um, Lino 12, I've got some issues with drivers trying to get new drivers for the 14. Uh, the LBDS, there's a lot of stuff compatible with the PC Duino in relation to the 1024600, but this is the 1280800, so it's a little bit different. But I've got it displaying really nicely. I might do some testing. Um, one of the good things to remember is the fact that when you load this up and you get it running, because you have to do this process of installing a kernel on an SD card, flash it. Oh, yeah. So here is the computer. PC Duino. As you can see, it's beautiful. I've uh, behind here is the hidden A20 chipset. It is a gigabit LAN. Um, there's some problems with the LAN at the moment, but that's okay because over here you have Wi Fi. Um, you can plug in a SATA drive, all the pins to connect a full Arduino based shield. Um, well, the important thing is that's what they say but some shields have to be modified in certain ways to work so currently I have uh, what we have here is a basically it's an Uno it's made by a company called Freetronics but it's an Uno replica a Duino Uno and I've got a, a breakout board so I can get to the pins and on top of that NFC shield now to make this work on the PC Duino, you'd have to cut a couple of pins. There's a reason behind it. I don't like to remember that stuff because sometimes it's really complicated and it hurts my brain. But NFC card. Look up on the screen. That's reading the NFC. I was actually testing it. I'm still. What am I installing? Okay, that's a. It's a putty connection to this thing. So I'm running HTOP over here so I can see how much load it's running. It doesn't like focusing on the small text. I like that screen. It's really cool. Looks way better in real person, real life. Um, and then I've got a putty connection over here um, to install. I'm actually installing light. TPD because there's some really cool code uh, which is underneath it, which is basically PHP serial. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to utilize the Arduino Uno you know, and this wonderful shield. I'm going to build these as breakouts and they're all going to serial connect to the PC Duino. And I'm going to turn this thing into a kiosk. Hopefully I can get the driver working. And then you'll have a wonderful, basically a web-based page that will come up with buttons that you can push. And it will read stuff off these. And there will be a GPRS GSM card as well for data. And it's going to do all wonderful, cool things. But you can turn this into so many things. It's unbelievably small. That has the processing power. I think it's a 1.5 gigahertz pro a dual core processor. And they actually just released uh, PC Duino actually have what they call the PC8. This is the PC Duino 3B. But they've actually released one just recently which is the PC8. I think is the name of it. It's a it's an octa core monster. It's a lot of processing power in a very very small device. So yeah, 
uh, that's my video of my PC Duino and the cool stuff I'm building. Um, any questions? Let me know. I will provide more information as I go. Thank you.